Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Jatara Brianne. Thank you so much for tuning into today's vlog. We are about to jump into some living room redecorating. Um, I'm getting ready to leave out to go to Target, HomeGoods, maybe TJ Maxx, but I don't know because the one near me sucks butt. But I really want to redecorate my living room, but I also need to because girl, I got a leak in my window. Mind you, we're going to get into that a little bit later. But I really want to see what these stores have to offer me before I get stuff online. I've already seen a ton of things that I would love to purchase. But I just want to make sure I'm doing my due diligence. So, fingers crossed I see something that's a really good price that will fit my space. So, yeah. It's a random Thursday. Just wrapped up with work and it's 79 degrees outside. So we head about okay, let's go. Okay, I haven't used my car mount in a really long time So hopefully y'all are positioned correctly But basically the issue I have with my living room right now is I am currently experiencing a leak for my living room window So with that being said, I gotta move my stuff. Okay, my work laptop currently sits right there My work monitor sits right there a lot of important stuff and this tech stuff So if it gets messed up, that's my ass and I don't want anything interfering with my work, you know? So we got to move that stuff. Luckily, I have a little cubby section in my apartment that has like some floating shelves and it was already there when I got the apartment. Also, there's not enough seating in my living room and we can't have that. Can you let me over, Bookie? Thanks. So I want to put some accent chairs in there to give more seating to people who don't want to sit on the couch because that's necessary. So yeah, we're going to see what is out in these stores right now I'm going to home goods first so we're in home goods I was able to lift this really heavy planter spot but it's so cute let me show you I think I want to go with this one that I was showing y'all earlier she's cute I will definitely use this in my new space too she's huge she's only $35 now this little fake moss stuff that I would like to put in her is $14. Isn't that a bit much? Isn't that a bit much? And I don't think I would need this much either. But I didn't see any other ones. Um, I got it from right here and I didn't see any other sizes or anything. But we're going to keep looking. I might put that back because that's where it is. I'm a sensei. Do y'all remember that song? That used to be my jam in like middle school. But anyways, as you can tell in the back, I got a plant. Okay, I ended up finding an olive tree in um, Home Goods that was only $99. So I'm like, all right, I put that other pot that I found back. I'm going to show y'all the plant later when I get it in the house. Because I was like, you might as well get that. Come on, Bookie. Come on. I'm going to let you go. I'm like, I might as well get a tree that's already plot, um, potted once I found out that you got to buy the mulch and all this extra stuff. That's too much. I don't got time for that. So I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll just buy it, plant it. And I found one that was, like I said, affordable because $99 is really good. Um, a lot of olive trees by themselves on like Amazon and Home Depot, they range from like 60 to 100 and something. So... I was like, yeah, might as well save me a little coin. Plus, this man that was following me around the store gave me a discount code. So, I got even more money also. It was a really good deal. I also ended up getting some pillows because I randomly want to switch out my pillows. I feel like mine got too flat and we don't do that. My pillows is giving that single guy that's kind of like a hoe and his bedding is kind of janky. That's, that's what my pillows was giving, baby. We can't have that. So then I stopped at TJ Maxx. I got this cute little like mushroom lamp that I want to put in my nook, my little corner, because I think that would be really cute near my, on my bookshelf. And what else I get? I got some other random stuff that don't matter because I was like, all right, I can't come in here for just one thing. That don't make sense. I have to at least buy three things. I don't know. Girl math? I don't know. I just felt like that made the trip more worthwhile. So I'm skipping past Target. I'm actually walking past it right now. We don't need to go in there. I don't need to spend no more money. But actually, I lied because I'm on my way to Popeyes. I'm on my way to Popeyes because I'm starving. 
didn't eat lunch and apparently today is just gonna be my freaking cheat day because I'm not about to drive past this Popeye's and not try those chicken wings that I've been meaning to try. Also, I was looking around at chairs and I realized no, I'm, I'm not getting the chairs in person because for one, I'm not carrying that up the stairs. Like the chairs that be in TJ Maxx and stuff like that, they're already built. You're going to have to have two, a big enough truck to sit that stuff in. There's no way in HE double hockey sticks, none of that is going to fit in my chair. I had difficulties putting this olive tree in my ch in the back of my trunk, I mean. Okay, you guys, so made it back home. First things first, all right? If you have never tried Popeye's mango lemonade, baby, get you one. Get you one. Okay, I got this cute mushroom lamp. It's an actual lamp. I just think she's going to add so much like what's the word like basically my house is too aesthetically pleasing i have no identity in here like there's no fun there's no color there's no nothing it's just neutrals the most color i have in here is freaking terracotta and i think that's in the neutral family because it's very similar to beige so these are the tj maxx fans i definitely just needed these like literally needed them for washing dishes um granted i always use my dishwasher but when i am washing dishes the one that i have has is the dis the soap dispenser thing and it's messy and i hate it and it's old so i need to get rid of it and then these are really good too just for like having in the bathroom and the kitchen and they match my color my color scheme or whatever so that's every that's literally everything that i got from tj and then as you can tell in the back here is my olive tree this is her this is she she's heavy she's so cute like get into the texture of the pot first off so cute she's as tall as me literally this is my best friend's height um <laughs> And then I also got some pillows. Pillows, pillows, pillows. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is eat my food in peace. And then I am going to talk to you guys when it's time to redecorate and show y'all what my little nook looks like. And try to bring her together. So, welcome to my nook that I've been speaking about. It looks horrible right now. It has turned into a junk nook because at first, I what I wanted to do with this space was make it my bar nook okay i have all my cute stuff here to make drinks when i host however uh it's too far away from my kitchen my kitchen's all the way over there so i didn't want to be walking pet no like i got a carpet i probably would have spilled something it just wasn't practical so i bought a bar cart and it sits right by my kitchen and it's so cute i'm about to hurry up and clear this off so we can reorganize her <laughs> Okay, you guys, so what do y'all think about the space? I absolutely love it. I feel like I'll really be able to sit right here and get all of my work done and just knock it out. Um, I really can't do much about all these cords just because it's my Wi-Fi, it's my TV, it's things that I actually am going to use every single day. I just put my chair right there. The chair fits perfectly. This was supposed to be for a desk. I don't know what else we're going to be doing in today's vlog. So I'm just going to see y'all when I see y'all. Hey guys. So it is the, it's, a, it's been a couple of days, girl. It's currently St. Patty's weekend. Today's Saturday. Just got ready and all dolled up and whatnot to go out with some friends. We're about to go pregame and then head to some bars, lounges, and see where the night takes us. So I'm not bringing my camera because duh but i am gonna try to get some clips on my phone and whatnot i should have did a cute little get ready with me but i was in a rush girl i had to put the pedal to the metal 
So, I'm also excited to celebrate because something really exciting at work happened. <sighs> I got a little promotion or whatever. Eek! It's not a little promotion. I, I got a promotion at work and I'm, I'm just excited to get out the house, okay? This summer, my friends and I said we was going to be outside. We was going to be outside. So, anytime we get to celebrate, we're going somewhere, period. So, this time it's St. Patty's. Next time it's probably going to be, well, not next time, but I'm looking forward to Cinco de Mayo. I'm looking forward to a morning weekend. Um, We're going back to my school, UVA, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to celebrate birthdays and accomplishments and so much more. So, let's head out. It's a video. Oh, yeah. Was it uh, Viola? Do a split. Do a split on a. If I have a thing, we're done. Hey, Pull them up. Hike them up. Do a split. Woo! Why hell? You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Straighten out that back leg. Are we splitting? We're doing splits. Come on, Pilates queen. Woo! Say cheese. You gave up. You punk. You bitch. She oh, bitched out. Sure. Peter, say hey. I have balls. They would have just stretched. I ain't giving out no money to no nigga just for fun. Are you done? Uh-uh. So We had fun last night, but by 11 o'clock, everybody was ready to go. So we are washed. Why I call us an Uber? Baby, everybody was asleep and took a cat nap in the car before we even got home. We was tired. Y'all, my allergies was messing with me the entire night. This morning, I woke up, couldn't breathe out of my nose. I'm like, oh, this is not it. Getting myself together right now because I'm excited. We are about to go try. A new nail salon now i know you probably like girl what aren't you the diy queen yes i am but when it comes to them pedicures i'm gonna get one okay so that's what we're testing out today i'm trying a very new nail salon for the very first time i've been getting my pedicures by the same woman for like the past five years can't go to her anymore because i don't live near her shop anymore so I've been neglecting my toes, girl. It's about time you just find yourself a new person. It feels like I'm going through a breakup with my pedicure, my pedicure girl. Because, like, we had a really good relationship. I'm not going to lie. Found her off TikTok. She is very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. We just got to see if they can actually do good work. So, I'm going to take y'all on this journey with me. Um, If I recommend the shop, I'll give y'all the information. This is exactly why I don't pay to go to nobody for nothing this is exactly why so i wasn't able to go to the nail salon that i wanted to go to because they was booked and busy now mind you yes i should have called prior because i ain't even really think about it it's a sunday people gonna be outside this weekend the place i'm talking about is called concept nail bar and it's really popular because it's pretty and aesthetically pleasing like when you walk in you see a a rainfall and all that good stuff whoop de whoop so everybody in their mama want to go so boom scratched that couldn't go there found another location that was close so i go to this place called what is this called calvary I ain't going back. The way this girl was double booked and it was her fault. So she started my soak off. Okay, boom. I know you have to sit for a soak off. I have no problem with doing that. She was trying to do this girl's like fix one of her nails, but she slammed it in the door. So she wasn't even able to do her work. She overbooked herself though. So that was her first mess up. Two, she started doing my pedicure and she was rushing from jump. Don't rush my stuff. You could have had someone else do my stuff if you knew you had somewhere to go. Somewhere to go, mind you. She's at work. She had somewhere to go. She ended up getting a call and somebody said uh, they was going to charge her. She didn't go to her appointment. So she had someone else finish her work. Mind you, she wasn't even doing what I wanted her to do. I asked for square. All I got on my toes is fresh tip. She could, she didn't even know how to paint the square. Like, she gave me like a rushed, rounded job. It's, it's decent, but it's not what I get. And I'm the type of person that like vouches for myself when I'm getting, when I'm like getting a service done and I'm at an appointment because I'm not gonna pay for something I don't like, even though that's really what I just did. <laughs> 
Man, I was in a room full of white women. I'm out of my element. This is not my neighborhood. And I didn't want to be the only person that was complaining. So I was like, girl, just go ahead. And then she had someone else finish the job. They get a zero out of 10 from me. $85 down the drain. In this economy, $85 down the drain in this economy. Like, y'all don't see my toes. <laughs> People driving by probably like, girl, what the freak is you doing? I'm taking my ass home. You'll never wanna lose me. Lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me.